So anything challenging in life, um, you know, that is rewarding. You always look back fondly on it. You tend to forget about the kind of challenging parts of it. And um, this definitely applies to this entire project. I look back when I'm old and think that was an amazing experience. You know, three months of coming in here. I know lockdown was going on and COVID, but getting to create this dream space that we had sort of never had a chance to do before. Um, every day we come in here to work, we were kind of pinching ourselves, you know, and we've created the, our dream gym and it's something that we're really, really proud of. So we're down here um, Monday, start of a new week, and we just started working on the changing rooms. So as you can see here, we have some really nice white metro tiles. We have 4,000 of these bad boys, um, and we're going to try and tile the changing rooms here, having never tiled before in our lives. Um, so we do have a wee bit of help. Dermy's down to show us, get us started on how it works, um, and we've got all the stuff that we need. Uh, so we're going to give it a go, and hopefully it turns out alright. Can't be that hard, but I played with Lego when I was younger, like, so I'm feeling pretty confident on how this is going to go. Connects all the way. Mm. Never had that. That must have been the rich boy's toy. Meccano, no? No, never. No Meccano. Just, just Lego, like. Sad. Off-brand off Lego, I think. Sure Lego's worth a fortune now. How much oil are you in the sense? Well, I actually, I was having boy for about 25 years. And I fell off a roof. Really? The flipping changing rooms and the tiles. It took four of us, at least, you know, two to three weeks really to get the majority of the tiling done. Many hands make light work. You have to level the bottom of every row, you've got to stagger them right, you've got to put spacers on every side, you've got to mix up the adhesive. So with so many issues with adhesive going rock solid, you know, 20 minutes after we've mixed it, mixing it too early, we must have went through about 20 buckets from B&Q. Um, but eventually we started sort of putting a dent in it. So yeah, the tiles all came from Tile Mountain and we've kind of maintained that theme right throughout. So we showed you guys the reception area um, into the changing rooms and then also in the bathrooms as well. We put a little concealed cistern in the bathroom and that's all the same white metro tile. So we have a bit of a theme running through the whole gym. None of us have ever tiled anything in our life and I have no intention of ever tiling anything ever again. So as Johnny was saying, it's important to us that we have consistent themes throughout the gym. You come in, you're immediately greeted by our white metro tile design. Um, as you come down the corridor here, we want to be sort of taking you on a journey. As I say, our themes need to be consistent right through the whole process from entering the gym, to doing your workouts, to leaving the gym. So we're loving our new graffiti down here. Brandon looks amazing. Over here we'll have our Goliath rig, open gym area, muscle up stations and our neon signs. Some neon over here and the Olympic lifting area for the guys. Over here then is going to be our dumbbell station. And then our build area is going to be upstairs. So the new flooring has just arrived. We're about to take it off the truck here and start laying it down. So it's all kicking off. Pretty exciting. Just clearing a bit of floor space here. Uh, black floor tiles, which is an extra three mil thick than our previous floor. It's all just going to look a wee bit flusher, straighter and nicer. Uh, and this is all from Atlantic Barbell. Big moment.
that um, gyms are going to open again on the 10th of July. That gives us two weeks from tomorrow to get this whole place finished. Our mesh panels are due to go up today, so we just need to cut those, the tops off them, and get the edges up. And um, we've built our new rig out here. Finished that yesterday. How do we work out on it? It was great. And then our new open gym area here. Seven years ago, uh, when we first opened up our gym at an old location, we were probably uh, very idealistic, didn't really know what we were getting into, um, and it sort of everything escalated from there. You know, we had very little money, we didn't have that much experience, and we just sort of jumped into it with two feet uh, and a lot of passion. Since then, we've moved into our second unit here, um, that was on over three years ago now, and of course, as this video has been all about, we have on a massive refurb and expansion uh, more recently over lockdown. We're relaxed and tired and I'm going to take the day to chill. You, you were wait. doing that last week in gymnastics. <laughs> you, you've been doing that for <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one. Since all that time we have been obviously getting to know a lot of different people coming through our doors over the years. We have been expanding our coaching team more recently, which is great, getting you guys who share the same passions as us on board and offering new services. Um, and also one of the things we're most proud of is of course, our gym family, our gym community. Um, and something that's really, we're really proud of is that we've been going for almost seven years and we still have quite a few members who've been with us from literally day one. So people who've been a part of our gym community and family for almost seven years. We're really excited about what's to come. Obviously this expansion uh, has been great and we're really excited to get guys back in through the doors. Obviously lockdown has sort of put everything on a wee bit of hold. At the same time, it has given us this opportunity to do this refurb. Um, but at this stage, we're just really keen to get the gym family back together, expand our offerings and help everyone have fun while getting fit again.